How are the bass going to respond during the solar eclipse? It has started, guys. Today, we're going to do a challenge, try to catch 20 bass and a limit for 12 pounds on a lake that I've only been on like three times so far. So guys, let's go ahead and start this challenge. The eclipse has started. Checking it out. I don't got my black spinner baits in the boat either. There goes one. I just looked through it. Everybody's cheering. Oh, 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 oh. So the lake I'm on today is a very clear body of water, visibility four plus feet. So I wanted to start off in the wind and I wanted to pick areas where there are wind blowing points, kind of potential of spawning flats near them. With the conditions and also guys, the lunar table said that the fish were going to be really active and eating today. So we're going to test on, is the lunar table actually you know believable because sometimes it is sometimes it isn't so then as i started and going down the banks i got a bite real fast and it was a little one that i lost then i ended up catching one and my first swim bait of choice guys was the egg zone swammer right here i don't know this color uh the name of it, but you see it has a little bit of green pumpkin purple a little shad kind of on the bottom more of a natural color then as, as I kept going, I ended up losing one on that as well. So then I wanted to go more to a shad pattern. I didn't have any of the egg zones in the shad pattern in the boat with me, but I had the reaction skinny dipper right here in the shad color. Throwing them on the quarter um, quarter ounce four aught core tackle tush hook, okay? Throwing swim bait up and down the bank. I've tried two different swim baits. I'm trying to fish this wind, but I have found some group of fish offshore. I just got them to follow my mag draft. I'm just gonna kind of see how they react they're so tight to the bottom and then some kind of went back but they uh they came up to this i made a little glide bait on here now just to see if, how they're going to react that mag drive pulled them off i threw a swing head at them first this glide bait does not sink fast There goes one. Oh, I got him, I had him. Darn. But then guys, as I got going, the, I, I didn't get any more bites and I was starting to get confused. So then I decided to look out off the bank with the sun, maybe they're gonna be more out. And I knew with my time constraint of the two hours, I wanted to fish and move. It's kind of hard for me to fish with a slow moving bait like a Carolina rig, swing head jig. So then I started looking out for them. Here we go guys, making the move right now. I'm actually pretty disappointed in the bite. Um, the lunar table said the fishing was gonna be really, really good. And it's, I mean, it's probably good somewhere, but it's not here right now. Um, so I've been 40 minutes into the challenge, 50 minutes, and guys, it's, uh, yeah, not been any good. It's darker out here right now. I mean, I think the fish should be eating, and they're probably eating somewhere. It's kind of crazy. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to make a move. I came all the way back here in this pocket and didn't see a bed or a fish on a bed. How about that? Saw some of those fish out here through the glide bait out and the swim bait out. Goes pretty, but right now, it's just it's disappointing. I'm... I mean, the fish, I guess the, the eclipse is messing with them too. They're eating somewhere, right? They're eating somewhere, but not here. That's a good one. I watched him on the live scope. That was so cool. Get the boat. There we go. There we go. We'll get our way there with that one. That was so cool, guys. I wish I would have saw that. I, I caught that fish. That fish was just out here. Maybe I should start coming out here. There's another one. Look, that. those were two together right there. You see that right there, guys? On my screen, there's those two together. I need to weigh this fish real quick. Fish here weighs, guys. Two, two. Two, two. We are, that's a start at least. Let him go, her go, let her go. Now we got a little star. Hopefully guys, you are enjoying today's video. About to go over a couple things really fast. Am I gonna get the challenge though? Stay tuned real quick for this segment, guys. I'm gonna go over the boat of the week presented by Future Marine. But first guys, I just wanna say thank you everybody for watching the channel. And if you have not, please subscribe to the channel, guys. I have three-fourths of y'all that watch my videos are not subscribed. 
Uh, so I can see that in my metrics. And what subscribing actually does to me is it helps my channel grow amongst the algorithm, but also companies that want to reach out and work with me. They see that number. But guys, I'm more of, you know, just y'all watching. I pretty appreciate every one of you guys. I've met a lot of y'all at the Classic recently. Appreciate the messages. Now let's get into the boat of the week. This week's boat of the week presented by Future Marine is a 2023 Ranger RZ 520 RC. Guys, this boat here is a 20 foot, 11 inch long boat powered by a Mercury Pro XX 250 horsepower four stroke. Guys, Ranger has been one of the top brands in the industry in the boating and fishing industry for a long time. One thing about this Ranger though, guys, it is gonna fit you comfortably. There, It can have three of y'all in this boat and fish comfortably. I know guys, if you watch my channel, you see me in a Bass Cat, but I'm actually fished in a Ranger a lot due to Futural Marine and my partnership. I fished recently in a 21 foot, the 521 model, and if you're not interested in, the, if you want a bigger boat, there might be a used one at Futural that might be for sale. Guys, this, this Ranger right here has the Lowrance trolling motor ghost on it with Lowrance units, but if you prefer Minn Kota, you prefer Garmin, guys, we can get it set up for you. Once again, guys, a very comfortable boat and safe boat on the water if you're fishing big waters for sure. Check this Ranger out and thank you for Future Marine with the boat of the week. So guys, it's like total eclipse right now. Total eclipse. I just caught my first keeper. That was like fish number three uh, of my 20, but first keeper for 2-2. Two, two. And I uh, scoped it out here, you know, and that's something. I can't just catch him going up down the bank like I'd like. But uh, I'm looking at the scope right now. I'm sorry. I need to look at y'all. But that's total eclipse. Like, total. Maybe not total. I just looked and that hurt my eyes. It's pretty dark out here. Maybe we can make it happen. Make it happen. Maybe the, the solar eclipse will get them dudes starting to eat real well. Now that fish there, guys, one thing, I mean, he, she came at it right away and ate. So then I was like, hey, these fish have to be eating somewhere. But then all of a sudden the eclipse started. Guys, it's now total dark. This is just, yeah. Look at this. I can't tell if y'all can tell. I just looked through it. I think it's like, uh-oh. Wow. It's dark. Everybody's clearing, cheering, oh, 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 oh. Uh oh, let's look at it. Uh oh. Now if only, now I need to go pick up a black spinner bait. What am I doing? I should have a black blade on. I didn't know it was gonna be this dark. Uh oh, <laughs> I need a spinner bait on, Jimmy. It's dark, like, I don't got my black spinner baits in the boat either. What was I thinking? So that right there was guys was one of my first kind of clues of like, hey, maybe I need to be looking out. Maybe for some reason the eclipse and everything doesn't have them up there eating. So then guys, after the eclipse and everybody on the lake, at this point there's like a hundred boats on the lake it seems like. Boats are everywhere, places crowded. I tried to get out of the crowd today. I then decided to make a move and then I went to the main lake, okay? And as I went out to the main lake, I decided to fish some docks closer deep water um, just to try to see if I could maybe find a bigger bite, find some fish. I saw some fish on the live scope actually off the bank and they just weren't eating. And that's one thing today, guys, Guys, I thought they were going to eat, but I guess during the, the eclipse, or for me, they didn't eat during the eclipse. So guys, I had 30 minutes left, and I decided, hey, I'm going to make a move up the lake. And I wish I would have made this move sooner, because I found a good, a, a big group of small fish to where I could have hit that 20 number. I caught a couple in there, caught some on the swim bait. I, I lost one. There <laughs> we go. One of these little dudes. Number four. I'm not even gonna weigh him. We're not gonna weigh. I caught one on the swim bait, lost one on the swim bait.
Dixie in the house. You gotta be kidding me, guys. There's so many fish down there. This shot here, guys, was just a main lake point where there were, there were those, that, that dock was pretty close to deep water. There's that ditch right there, that creek drain kind of coming in. Guys, there's like 30 fish there. I caught one and then I saw the time. I threw back in there. They weren't eating. I saw the time and I started kind of recording my live scope. I caught two more and about my time was done. Ended up the day, I believe, with six fish is what I ended up catching and I only weighed one. So I didn't get the 12 pounds. I only weighed one. I mean, I could have weighed two more, but I was like, man, there's, I just, you know, I should have weighed the two more, but I didn't. They were like 12 inches. So give me a pound for each of those maybe 12 ounces i don't know but guys uh fun day on the water something to me is pretty neat the the eclipse just how everything worked out uh where it got total darkness and uh but the fish did not eat for me during it did they eat for you that day someone someone leave me a comment let me know how they ate for you guys uh, appreciate you guys your first time to the channel give me a subscribe go ahead and like the video as well um and guys and i appreciate y'all come back to the fishing coach channel and hey we'll see you on the next one